What's up guys, today I'll show you how to create a custom light wrap effect. If your AMV compositions look bad, then not having this effect might be the problem. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so we got our clip and the first thing we want to do is copy it. So Ctrl plus D. And then on this layer, we want to select it and go to the rotor brush tool. Then double click in your scene. And then you can start drawing on it. So we want our character to be masked. So we'll just draw on her like this. And you can also zoom in with your scroll wheel and you can also zoom out with it. Now, if you want to remove something, you want to hold Alt and then you'll see it turns red and then you can draw on it again. And then as you can see, it will remove things. And also if you want to scale your drawing tool, you can just hold Ctrl and your left mouse button and then you can drag up and down to scale it. As you can see, some parts are not masked very well, like here and then also here. So you can fix that by going to the rotor brush tool again and then holding your left mouse button. And then you'll see these two options here and you want to go to the refine edge tool. Then you can just draw on it again. And as you can see, the white parts will stay masked and the black parts will be unmasked. All right, once you did that, you want to go to freeze and then it'll freeze all your frames. And then you can close this panel. Go to your normal tool again and then you want to copy both layers. So Ctrl D on the first one and Ctrl D on the second one. And then I'll just slide them both up. I'll also give them a different color so you can see it better. All right, so these blue layers were just copied. All right, then you want to go to your top layer and add an effect called fill. And then you want to make it black. Now select both layers, so hold shift to select them both. And then you want to right click and go to pre-compose and then pre-compose it and make sure these settings are enabled. Then you have a few options. You can add an effect called camera lens blur if you have no plugins, or you could add S glow if you have Sapphire, uh, which I prefer, but for this tutorial, we'll just use camera lens blur and then just make it a really high value. And as you can see, our background will flow over our mask, which will make this edge glow or light wrap effect. So something like this. Then you want to copy this middle layer again. So this is the mask we made. Uh, so I'll just call it mask. I want to copy it and then make sure it's on top. And then you can grab this here. And if you don't see it, you can go to the bottom and make sure this is enabled. And then you can just drag it to the top layer. So from the mask to the top layer. And then the only thing left to do is to go to the blending modes uh, of our second layer here and then put it to something like add. All right, now we can see our light wrap is a little too big. So we can just change it here on the lens blur like this. All right, now our overall clip is a little bit bright. So what I like to do is go to the third layer, then hold Ctrl Alt plus Y. So we'll add an adjustment layer. You can also right click here, new and then adjustment layer. And then you want to add a Lumetri color. Here you can go to basic correction and then you can make it a little less bright. And if you don't want your background to be too dark, you can go to your light wrap layer again and add Lumetri color. And here you can just make it brighter. And I'll also quickly show you what it looks like with Sapphire Glow. So if we add this quickly and hide the camera lens blur, you can see it kind of gives the same effect. I'll also tweak it a little. So yeah, I think the S glow looks a little bit better, but if you don't have it, don't worry because camera lens blur will do the job just as fine. All right, so this is the light wrap effect. Hopefully you've learned a lot. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you want me to help you even more with After Effects, then make sure to go to the first link in the description down below. All right, bye-bye.